in our last interview, man, um, you know, you made a comment and you said that um, Foxy Brown was one of the females you was talking to back then. If you don't mind, man, um, take me through that. Um, how did that come about? How did you and uh, Foxy Brown meet? How did you knock Foxy Brown? Kind of funny, though, because we're we talking about 30 years now. If not 25, you know, I'm talking about Foxy used to fuck with my boy. Uh, corrupt. Shit was over. You know what I'm talking about? You know, uh, and then we had Doggy Angels, which was the homegirls. We used to be in Beverly Hills. I forgot this club, but I'm sure everybody else would know. But we used to be in that motherfucker thick. You feel me? And, uh, you know, Fox used to be around, you know, at the same time. I just, you know, corrupt. That was his bitch, whatever. But at the time that this whole situation happened, he wasn't even fucking with her. So, like I said, the van got broke down in, in Beverly Hills where he pulled up. No, they pulled up, my pulled up in the bins at the key club after Mike Evans did a little, you know, little stand up and did what he did because we wasn't selling drinks at the time. We were just selling Bottles, you feel me? And at this time, it was on the track, it had hella holes. You feel me? And it, wasn't, it was like a thousand holes on Sunset Boulevard. You know what I'm talking about? So it was a good look. At this time, uh, niggas come pick me up, we jump in the car, bam, bam. Some motherfuckers pull up on the side of it, and a white bends. A little bins, like we in a 500, so they in a 400. Some, some little, but they had a, they had the same rim. Her look at C and said, "Come out your rims." <laughs> we like six deep in the car. We stacked bitches, got their legs over. We stacked, and I'm like. It's like, right? We got security in the car too. And we're like, when we jump, C jumped out the car, drove off. He ran to the trunk and get the thing thing, right? All right, let's go, fuck. Well, had the same, had the same, had the motherfucking same, uh, uh. Had the same shit, right? They ain't them dropping me off. Now, to think about it right now today, I don't even know how I got her number. You feel me? I don't even remember how I got her number. But I know where it was at. We was right across the street from uh, House of Blues. What's the name of that spot? I know one of my, you know, right across from House of Blue, huh? On Sunset. Then the hotel. I'm gonna check this out. Some reason I'm on the phone. She's like, "Yeah, I need more, more, more." And I'm, I'm going there. I get there. I jump out the car. I'm walking through the hotel. When I push through the hotel, I'm driving down. I don't even think about shit. I just look to the left. When they drive down, I just see a car just block them off. That's the same car. It was like, come out your rims. Right? <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, this is the same. Right? So, I'm back up, I'll do a little, you know, bicycle. I see everybody cars just go blah, blah, blah. Everybody fighting. Boom, boom, bam, 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 boom, boom. I come down. Boom, 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 boom. I'm socked. Boom, boom, boom. Motherfuckers running, everybody running. Boom, boom, boom. It's one I can't never forget. In LA, I used to in Burbank. There's a black. 
I used to always be at the YMCA playing basketball with him. This was with him. When I sucked that, gave him a cauliflower. How long? Okay, cauliflower. Ah! That, uh, ah. And looked at me, he looked, say, oh, wait a minute. I'm like, and then I look at him, I'm like, we kick it free in there. Like, oh, yeah. I'm like, all right, well, you feel me? So the, the rock is this. Now we on sunset. Hell of a motherfucker. Let me make a long story short. My DNA just knocked one out. Just completely knocked him out. We on sunset for about 30 minutes. It's not the sheriff pulled up. Nothing. So this will make me think motherfuckers want to kill each other. You feel me? Now we like 20 on 20. <sighs> right? Knocked out. He wake up. We on the motherfucking street. Everybody like, uh, and next thing I know, a little just come through the cut. Like, ah. Uh, and I see him. And then he just swing. And he hit, see, 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 back up. Like, you feel me? On, you feel me? Like, I don't want to get hit type of shit. But when he back up, his whole leg just broke. Cop! And he fell between some cars. Right? We got one security guard. He pulled all his pistol. In my head, he's supposed to be had this pistol out. You feel me? My raise his head up. We in between. This two cars in between. His head stuck out like this. Yeah, that he just knocked out. That he his leg got broke on. That's about to heave holy. I'm talking about like a punter. You feel me? Like the best punter. <laughs> you feel me? Like the best punter. You feel me? This like this. About to kick his whole fucking head off. Cause he in between some cars. His leg broke. He already knocked. Come from yonder. He leg up this high. He about to come down. When he come about to come down, I come across in there. Ah! Dropped it. You feel me? And then I pull out the, the pistol and raise everybody up. So we throw my in the car. His leg broke in the motherfucker. He came, put it in the car, so we had to put it out the window. We had to put his leg out the window. The I mean, uh, the goddamn hospital was down in the street. Like, we well, easy, he got this shit situated. But it's down the hill. So we smashing down the hill. Just leg catching wind. Like, ah! Ah! You feel me? I'm like, oh, yes, man. I know he fell in the raft. We get there. It's a done dollar. You feel me? I get back up to the bitch joint. You feel me? She's like, everything all right? I see a lot of commotion. I'm like, yeah, it's all good. Not telling her what happened. But when I get upstairs, the bitch got a bunch of gay motherfuckers up there, you know, hairstylists, all the shit. I'm whipped up. I'm dipped up. I'm pimped out. When I step in and everybody's like, oh, you so fine. I'm like, hold on. And I'm looking. These ain't bitches saying this. You feel me? In a, in a format of bag shit. I'm like, man, y'all get the motherfuckers out if you want me to say it. Like, I gotta go. So they all had attitudes. They end up leaving. Close the door. By the band. We just had to fight outside. We walked to the door. I mean, walked to the window and looked down. The bitch say, I want my boys to have a fight. I said, mine too. I said, shit. 
Who your boy? You really like kick it bread now? I said shit. My boy's out there fighting with him. She's like, for real? Shit just went haywire. I ain't never been through some shit like that. I really don't want to even talk about that shit. But yeah. Foxy you know what time it is, you know, Drew down, bitch, don't play with me. In a real fashion, like a brand new pair of clothes. This shit was crazy. The bitch took off on me. And that was the last, I bet she ain't never took off on nobody ever in her life. You feel me? Real here, though. You can't touch me and think you ain't gonna get touched back. But she left, made everybody leave. We talked about it, the bitch got mad, took off. I took back off and made a touch head thing, then it went down. And long story short, I'm back out the door on some pimp shit. You feel me? Crazy, man. That's a wild story right there, man. Crazy, man. So Foxy Brown, she hits you and you hit her back. Oh, right, that's automatic. Because a lot of motherfuckers are like, oh, you just beat up a bitch. He just on some old disrespect. No, bitch. I don't just whoop on motherfuckers. If you touch me, you're going to get your ass whooped. It don't matter. I won't give a fuck who it is. You feel me? You touch me. I'm going to touch you back. You feel me? This ain't checkers. This is chess. For real, for real. So did she punch you or did she slap you? What did she do to you exactly? Which one was it? A punch or a slap? That wasn't a punch. It's more like a slap. You feel me? It's more like a slap, but end up into some... Sexual shit. You know what I'm talking about? To where I'm like, I think more likely to me, that's what she like. You feel me? That's what she like. But even if she didn't like it, she got her ass touched. Because I ain't one of them motherfuckers. I'm going to eat stuff. Bitch, you can't touch me and think you ain't going to get touched back. Real? Yeah, man. Hello? Because when that bitch swung and hit me, I couldn't even. Hey. <laughs> if, if, any bitch out there that know me? Yeah. I'm going to give you a cauliflower. For real. Then I'm going to ring your bell. Ring my bell. I'm going to ring your bell. You feel me? I ain't got no time to be progressing. It's just a situation that happened because she was a real bitch at that time and shit happened. And then I was at the YMCA with when I ran up on him and fired on him. He looks back at me and I look at him. I'm like, I play basketball with you every weekend. <laughs> and he was like, I'm like, you with the, you with Kick and Breed? I'm on you. And it just happened like that. You know what I'm talking about? Damn. You feel me? And that's years ago, man. Right, right. So just to get some clarification before we move off of that, um, you had a fight. You and your homies had a fight with Kid Capri and the people he was with. And, um, you know, was Kid Capri with Foxy Brown? Or was he a part? Like, was he with her? Like, No, I mean, they all East Coast. You feel me? All of them together, man. You feel me? We're West Coast. When the motherfuckers pulled up on us talking about come out our rims, they shipped their car down from New York, but had the same rims on their car as mine on the, on the candy bands. And then said, come out your rims. Like, who say that, man? <laughs> who even say that? Come out your rims. Slap the cheek off your motherfucking ass. And my jumped out the car, went to the trunk, mashed off. We chilling for about an hour. Last thing I know, the shit just jumped up. I'm going to see Foxy. You feel me? You got a bunch of gay motherfuckers in there. I'm so whipped up. Motherfucker's like, oh, he, he's so fine. He won't. Bitch, get the fuck out of here. Bitch, I don't want to hear none of that shit. Who is these marks? 
You feel me? I'm a real. I don't give a fuck. I don't need to hang around your fags. You feel me? Not that I discriminate. All that L G W L F, whatever the fuck that is. You feel me? I'm just saying, whatever that is, ain't got nothing to do with it. Cause I, I didn't see all the hoes on the tracks that's men looking like straight bitches. I done seen real pimp walk up. I ain't gonna even say all nine. I got I got some nine, but nope. That ain't gonna happen in this episode. <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? I'll give you the real. But I'm gonna talk to my first. I just gotta bring it up to him so he can understand because it's real shit. I'm talking about on two on walking down 56, Studio 56 on Santa Monica. We're way in the back. Well, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, dude, all right, these bitches get to walking like book, Bigfoot. Every time they get closer, it's like, I'm like, damn. I look, and I, I really look, and I grab my, and I took him into the studio, one in the studio. I said, you know the men, my, he's like, nah, them men. What? Okay. All right. We walk out, first thing, look at the toes and the hands. So, yeah, you get your toes free, you get your hands free, but that'll be the, the least of what a bitch should get done first. It's going to be her jaws, her cheek, her neck, her, her motherfucking chest, her uh, ass. That's about it. Well, once the motherfucking hands hit a windshield, the bitch hit a hit. The bitch hit my windshield, drop top, and drop top. I'm like, hey, bitch, come here. Bitch, come all the way. Bitch, hit my windshield, I'm all in blunt. Now look. I'm like, bitch, if you don't get your motherfucking ass, you put ass. <laughs> like, nah, that's a no can do. You feel me? Oh yeah, that's a lot of trickery in this motherfucker. And that's 20 years ago. So guess how the trickery go now.